Okay, hello everyone, this is Ronnie and uh, I want to talk to you about the two ways that people seem to be able to make a raw vegan lifestyle work long term that I've seen and um, the reason I want to make this video is that it seems to me that a lot of the time the people on people doing different types of raw vegan diet they'll say this is the only way to do it and I think that there is sort of one more than one way of making it work long term and we'll get into that in this video so traditionally uh, or for as long as I've been into this lifestyle the low fat fruit based approach is the one that works it's the one that's worked for the most people long term it's the one that's kept people away from cooked food it's the one that people have thrived the most on as far as I can see and uh, we have more and more and more people trying that and it works for them but the idea has always been that people trying anything else eventually fail and it just doesn't work but I would suggest that there is one other way that people do it long term and it sort of works but it involves a bit more and so what I've been seeing as I've been talking to more people long term raw vegans especially with doing the podcast is what I have found is that there are some that their diet is a more high fat approach so they don't focus on so much fruit although they probably still have fruit they have higher fat meals so they might their salad or whatever meal will be with nuts and seeds and things like that something higher fat um, and they'll have you know uh, maybe some fruit some green juice some things like that uh, during the day but the way that they make that work a higher fat raw diet is that they will almost always when people do that they have periods of fasting juice fasting juice cleansing over the course of the year so I was speaking to one recently who he has fruit for breakfast fruit for lunch pretty much and then he'll have a kind of higher fat raw um, dinner like a more gourmet thing for dinner but when I was speaking to him he was in the middle of a 90 day juice fast so I just think that if people don't do that they'll probably start to gain weight they might eat too much um, obviously the fat's going to kind of slow you down eventually you might not feel that great so they eventually feel like they want to uh, detox and cleanse so or they do water fast every year or they do a water fast one day a week stuff like that so I've I've seen all that kind of thing going on um, and so that's that's basically the, what I see is the two ways but the reason the fruit based approach is better is because we are able to do it long term every day consistently and not have to change and not have to do all that stuff so to me that seems a lot better to be able to do it every single day without having to fast so I want my lifestyle to be so to make me feel so good all the time that I don't need to fast that's important to me it's not that fasting is something that you should always avoid um, I got a bit sunburned here and I didn't feel like eating for about 24 hours so I didn't eat but I don't right now I'm not I don't want to go into a fasting phase um, I don't want to do a one day fast a week ever uh, I've heard of people doing a fast every other day don't ever want to do that I have no desire to force myself not to eat um, unless I choose to at some point do a proper long-term water fast if I feel like um, it's a good time to do it or just curiosity or something like that but for me personally I want to be uh, consistent with my lifestyle I want to have lots of energy I want to be able to be active I want to be stim my brain to be you know, work at the top level so I don't want to do a high fat approach that I need to balance with fasting, juice cleansing and any kind of detoxification stuff like that so that is my two cents on the two types of raw food diet that approach that work 
The ones that don't work are under eating completely. Does not work. You cannot live on just greens. You cannot live on green juices. Um, then a, a high fat diet all the time. If you just do a high fat diet all the time, where you know all your meals are gourmet, raw vegan kind of meals, lots of nuts and seeds, that's you. You're gonna feel worse than you do eating a low fat cooked vegan diet. Um, eating a eating a tremendously high fat raw vegan diet is not a, a, it's not a good idea. Once again, the people that do that are going to do the extremes of cleansing, juice fasting, and all that stuff. Um, what other types of raw food diet? The sprouted thing, Sp like sprouts and greens, just not even enjoyable. Avoiding fruit and eating just sprouts and greens. Tough to get enough calories. Um, maybe you can add some crackers and stuff into it, some fats. Really bad approach. The the whole Hippocrates thing doesn't work as a, as a lifestyle. Um, I don't know liquidarian. You know if you can drink, if you can drink enough juice, but it's not it's not the best thing for digestion. I don't think. Um, fruitarian, just just fruit. I basically put that in the category of low fat, raw vegan, pretty much, I um, think you can make that work for a long period of time, I'm not particularly against people trying fruitarian, but I don't want you to try fruitarian out of some kind of dogma, out of some kind of like perfectionism mindset, um, you know, there's no need to be perf perfect or all your food to you know be dropped off the trees or something like that there's no need for that so um you know raw vegan approach as much fruit if you like delicious salad if you like a little bit of nuts and seeds not too much it's the best approach and it works long term so if you want to learn more about that you can come to the fruit festival uk fruit fest fruitfest.co.uk slash registration if you want to learn more about that and um, apart from that stay subscribed to the channel we've got more interviews coming up and uh, look forward to your feedback on those and I'll see you in the next video